Hey guys, so it's St. Patrick's Day, and usually that's a very happy holiday and a very fun holiday. But for me, it never is, because the leprechauns steal my gold every single year, and I hate it so much. So, I know that a lot of people like St. Patrick's Day, but I really don't because the leprechauns always steal my gold. And I hate how they always do that, because it's not fair. It's like, it's always me. Nobody else ever seems to have these problems except me. Hello there. So this year, for another St. Patrick's Day, we're plotting on how to steal his gold. And it's very easy because he is not smart and he can't tell when somebody's going into his room to take his pot of gold. So, but even in his case, when the guy's a complete idiot and he will die alone, so ugly, really, really ugly. Oh my god, looking at him actually makes me want to get eye surgery. Like, just take out my eyes. God, that kid is so ugly. But, we, even he cannot, even with him, we need to have a plan on how we go in. So, we have a three-step plan on how to steal his gold. And now, it is time for step one. Alright, so step one on how to steal his gold. We need to crawl through the door, which is very easy for, you, for us. Because we're even smaller than Blake is, and that's pretty much impossible. So... We need to just crawl in through the door and then get in, which is very easy, so let's do it. Okay, I'm in. Alright, so step two. Once you are inside the room, you have to get his pot of gold, or in Blake's case, his wallet full of two dollars because he's so poor. But, since even his wallet is taller than us, we obviously can't lift it, so we need to get a machine that's not... So big that Blake will notice it, but it's not so small that it can't carry it. So basically, we have this little machine that carries the pot of gold, or again, in Blake's case, his wallet, for us, because we can't, because it's still bigger than we are. Then the chair will bring the wallet back to me. And then I get my pot of gold. And then for step three, I put the wallet back on the chair because I still can't walk and carry it. And then we go out the door and then we steal it. Because even though we have it, we still need to escape the room before we have truly gotten our pot of gold. Ah! Ah! My pot of gold is mine! Alright guys, so this year my mission is to make sure that no leprechaun steals my gold. Alright, now that we have the pot of gold, let's get out of here! Wait 60 seconds! That leprechaun just stole my $2! Uh oh. Leprechaun, for years you have stolen my money on St. Patrick's Day. And now, I finally have you. Wait, no! You wouldn't punch a guy with the red beard, would ya? You know what? Red beards are uglier than I am. And I guess I do feel really bad for you for having one. And you know what? I feel really bad for you already. Just take my money. I mean, it's only right. You have a red beard, and those things are even uglier than I am. I mean, let's not get crazy here. That's just impossible. But yeah, sure. Whatever I'll say to make you let me steal your money. Yeah, so. You can have my money. That's right, you will. Alright, I'm out. Thanks. Hmm, I did a good thing here today. Hey guys, thank you guys so, so much for watching this week's new video. To see the previous video, then watch the biggest action movie ever. And to see the bloopers and behind the scenes, wait a few minutes. And to see last year's St. Patrick's Day special, then watch Leprechaun's Day Revenge St. Patrick's Day special. Alright guys, I love you guys so, so, so much. Make sure you all subscribe, and I will see you guys next week. Bye guys! You know what? I did a really good thing here today.
So to reward myself, I'm going to buy myself an ice cream cone. Alright, where's my wallet? Oh, wait a minute. I so regret giving him my wallet now. Now I can't buy myself an ice cream cone. What was I thinking?